Dark Out Noah. Yay, that's Dark Out Noah. 10 out of 10 IGN. Hello there everyone, Dark Out here, and welcome to episode 7 of... Oh, what? That's... <laughs> that grew fast. But yeah, welcome to episode 7 of Feed the Beast Revelations, and I just planted these... Birchwood saplings just before I started recording and they have grown that surprised me a bit But as you guys can see I am needing a lot of wood. Well, I was needing a lot of wood because I Cleaned this place up and there's only one chest here and this basically consists of mod items and whatnot that I'm not using right now, but as you guys can see I put glowstone. Oh that almost broke <laughs> glowstone in here and they provide quite a nice bit of light but you might be asking this is in the open and we barely do any stuff in the night so why would i need light in here and that is the point guys i have added all of the needed drawers here but we also have a <laughs> second floor to this this is the ground floor and that would be the first floor. Well, this is the underground floor, let's say, and that would be the ground floor. And these lights are helpful in here. I've designated this area to botania flowers. These are, as you guys can see, the flowers and their respective petals. In here, we have the seeds, whatever seeds we can get our hands on and their respective produce in there. And then we have the vanilla or some other flowers that which only are used for having dye so here we have the oxide daisy and we have the respective dye in there and then we have the plants or things organic things from other mods and stuff that I have no idea what to do with so they're just sitting in here for now and in the future if we need any more dryers they would go here and if we need more space, I'll just dig into here and make another underground space behind it. But that is far in the future. Because today, that we have organized this, first we'll start making, and I have four of these benches because they're really, really useful. So now, we'll start with making, uh, call it, what was that? The crate, crate, yeah. Crate. These small storage chests need four chests, four planks, and a wood casing which is made like that. The advantage to that is you guys see this amount of things in a double chest, and I would not like that double chest there. And there's another chest here, so we'll take that out. It needs four chests, right? So we will take out whatever chest we have. I do think, yeah, we have for birch chest here we'll put the oak chest because that has chroma hills texture and it looks kind of nice and then to create a crate we'll need some logs actually one oh <laughs> we have ran out of log one log one thing and a few sticks then we'll go ahead make the casing and after that go ahead and make the small crate and that is the small crate Look at the size of the inventory, guys. That is a ridiculous amount of storage for one block space. Look at this. Double chest. That's a double chest. And then look at this. And this has its medium and large storage crate variants. It's added by actual additions. We're going to go put all of this. Let's head back. Let's place all of this thing and voila! Item sorting at its finest. Why is there a vanilla stone axe in my inventory? <laughs> I have no idea how it got there. And this is clean as well. So absolute item sorting achieved, guys. Well, not automatic item sorting, manual still, but still. All right, so now that's done, we can chop these chests down and we can use that chest to produce something else. So. After the briefing of what happened off camera, our goal for today is to make a hammer. To make a Tinker's Construct hammer, let's put out the book in here. This thing, the hammer, because it's basically a pickaxe, but has a 3x3 range instead of just mining one block at a time. And that is gonna be so much easier. And as you guys can see, our stone pickaxe, I have used it so much so so much to get stone and whatnot 
This has leveled up quite a lot, but we're gonna throw it soon. And as you guys might notice, it has grown some pink bits too. On top of the red bits that we added. And what that is, I sharpened it with obsidian. So the mining level is cobalt now. Cobalt. So we can go into the nether and get ourselves some cobalt. Because I read this book, read the stinker's books for... I think almost an hour and and I came to the conclusion that cobalt is the metal that has the highest base attack speed or mining speed of any tool if you make a tool out of it and it has a decent amount of durability so what we're gonna do is go in how did you make it how did you make it in here can you explain that to me mr. zombie pigman you're alone so I don't need to worry about you you gave me a gold nugget. Oh my lord Jesus almighty. <sighs> this is f funny how they don't burn. Nope. You're not hitting me, you pesky little skeleton. Nope. I say nope. And I say nope. <laughs> but then now, after killing the skeleton, I come to the realization that if I create a cobalt hammer right now, so there's some skeleton somewhere else, but if I create a cobalt hammer right now, I'll have to use cobalt to repair it. And that wouldn't be so nice, will it? Because I would not be having slime to create the handle of the hammer, which is basically the highest durability of all. And I would want the highest durability. So let's let's create a iron hammer for now. We'll need the castings and whatnot. Actually, you know what guys? This is taking a while to chop down. So why not make a lumber axe as well? We're making a hammer anyway, so let's make it lumber axe. And I just realized that there's no hammer or lumber axe here because we need the tool forge. And for the tool forge, what will be it? To forge, it'll need two blocks. Uh, uh, four blocks. Jesus Christ, do we have four blocks of iron? I don't think we do. No, we need to get more iron. Do you have some iron for me? Definitely do. Definitely, definitely do. Jesus, that is quite expensive for now. <laughs> So four blocks of iron, I think three seared bricks, was it seared bricks? I'm pretty sure it was seared bricks, all right, tool forge, uh, blocks of iron, which was the iron thing, ah, never mind, yeah, those are seared bricks, <laughs> and we have uh, a little bit of seared bricks, let's just say, a little bit of seared bricks. I went overboard. I went overboard burning stone. I, somehow to test the smeltery, I just made way too much of seared bricks. But voila! Tool forge. And now it has a bunch of more tools. The hammer, 3x3 three, three three pick, basically. Excavator, 3x3 three three shovel. Lumber axe is special because lumber axe is a broad chopping tool. If you chop down the bottom thing of a tree the bottom log of a tree the whole thing falls down and that's that's amazing sky is a broad reaping tool basically a sickle but can have be used for attacking as well crossbow longbow shortbow shortbow the faster but weaker bow longbow the slower but heavier bow and crossbow is takes forever to reload but once it hits it is gonna kill and then there's shuriken the stuff and whatnot a lot of things and the cleaver is a giant sword almost like the giant sword from final fantasy <laughs> and it has slow recharge of stamina but it has the highest damage of all so it's basically a one hit wonder if you create it correctly if you're gonna create it with iron and whatnot don't bother with it it's not gonna do one hit wonder or some amount of damage now to create a hammer, we'll need tough tool rod, hammer head, and two large plates. So tough tool rod, hammer head, large plate. And to create a lumber axe, we'll need tough tool rod, 
broad axe head, large plate, and tough binding. So we need a lot of castings. We need a lot of castings. Let's take out the gold. We have one block of gold. That's it. We'll need all of that gold. We definitely will need all of that gold. So our first priority is the hammer. Let's melt the gold in. I hate how it is gold. And that's sharpening tool thingy. So we'll put that cast in here. We'll make it out of stone. Let's get some stone and yeah, I, I should have organized this before starting the episode, but everything is fine with editing. <laughs> so a hammer head. There we goes. Large plate, tough tool rod, and we will need the tough binding and the broad axe thing. I don't, I don't know what that is. Uh, for the lumber axe, broad axe head. Okay, what's a broad axe head? I don't think I made something with a broad axe head. How does it look like the broad axe head? Okay, that's a broad ha axe head. I never made that. <laughs> right, broad axe head. Get there. Broad axe head. So now we'll need 10 gold ingots. That is, we have 10 gold ingots. So I'm happy about that. We can make both tools. And this is a one-time investment. You basically get a permanent cost for this. Look at that. All the cast have been produced except the broad accent. And voila, we have the casting thingies and we can put them here. Isn't that amazing? We can create all we want. That's what I planned. This, this military, this military just is, ah, oh, I love it. I love it. I love this thing. <laughs> and we'll need more ingot castings but do we have we have three ingots so we can make one more ingot casting we need we don't need gold and the other one other ingot can go in there because one cast needs two ingots so yeah that's that ingot cast stay there these all will be ingot cast soon enough and now we'll go ahead and melt down some irons because for now I'll make only iron and copper tools. Is that uh, that's bronze? Iron is <laughs> copper. And, co and I'm using copper for the tool handles because copper adds a trade called well established, which gives you experience for mining blocks that usually will not give you the experience. So experience is always handy because a lot of things, crafting a lot of things in this mod pack needs experience. We'll make the hammerhead completely out of iron. That will cost us a lot of iron, of course, but uh, we'll, we'll make do with that. The hammer needs, yeah, that's, it doesn't need any binding. So that's that. Block of copper, you'll be producing our tough tool rod. How much do you need for the tough tool rod? Tell me one block of, yeah, one block of copper is enough for two tough tool rod. There it goes, the iron is smelting. The blocks take a while to smelt, of course, because there are nine ingots instead of one. So they take nine times more. Come on. Ta -ta -tun! Iron. We'll be needing a lot of those, and those large plates do need a lot of iron. Look at how slowly that is filling. So, a hammer is gonna co- What? Okay. Oh my word. I think the iron large plate needs a full block of iron, so I need to go mining iron. <laughs> wow, that was quite unexpected. Jesus Christ, that guys took a lot lot of iron. <laughs> I got four more blocks and that's what is left. <laughs> Alright, one more thing and I do think I will make the binding out of paper because that gives us an extra modifier I think. So let's go get some su sugar cane, we'll make some paper. And we'll have a nice lumber axe that will probably lo lose the durability pretty fast because 
how lumber axe works is, is it uses durability per block to chop down the whole tree. So if you chop down like a great wood, your lumber axe will break at once. But uh, it'll be chopping down the tree, so that will be nice. Paper. I don't think six paper is enough to create a binding tool. Because that costs a lot of paper. I do know that. Yes, it's not enough. It's not enough. I need more paper. Let's... Uh, let's watering can the sugar cane. <laughs> Alright. That's enough paper. Jesus, it needed... 12 paper for that and I think it's enough to create a lumber axe so a tough tool rod a iron plate broad axe and that modifiers to durability 520 oh my god that's crap that's crap durability or maybe that's just how iron is maybe I'm just too used to Diamond tools? Yes, 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 that's, that's, that's better durability. So, we have the lumber axe. And now we'll get the hammer. We'll get the hammer. 610 durability mining level diamond, which we can always just sharpen it to cobalt level. We'll do that, we'll do that. Let's go get some lava. Actually, we'll use the lava straight from the forge itself, because... We really do not need 70 buckets of lava right now, so... Two sharpening kits. Well... Didn't need that, but... Eh. I only need one sharpening kit, because there's no point in sharpening the lumber axe, is it? Eh, we'll produce the lava. Uh, I mean, the obsidian anyway, because that is also used in reinforced plate, which reinforces your tools. Basically increasing durability at the cost of a modifier. So obsidian sharpening kit, sharpening kit should be here. That's obsidian. One block of obsidian should produce a sharpening kit. And the other block will be extracted through here. Hello, Flint. You are going to sharpen my hammer. As if that makes sense. With a pick. That might make a little bit of sense in a pick is kind of sharp, but it's a hammer. How am I sharpening a hammer? So hammer there, and now we'll put a flint, which will increase the mining level to cobalt, and that will be amazing. Now let's sleep, and we'll try out our new tools. This is, I'm so excited. This is going to be amazing. You can only sleep at night. What do you mean? It's night. Okay, we'll go. Now. No, I want to do it in, yep, daytime. All right, birch trees. You will fall by the might of the lumber axe. Look at that. <laughs> and if all the birch trees were connected by wood, it would chop down the whole thing at once. See, that was connected diagonally. And even then, it chopped down both the trees. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? You just chop down the lowest block and the whole tree is gone. The whole tree falls apart. <laughs> like how chopping trees should be, really, when you think about it. <coughs> trees don't float, do they? Oh, that is going to be bad for leaf decay. <laughs> and look at that. We are getting experience out of chopping trees because we have the well-established there. And magnetic too is it increases our range of picking up blocks. Because look at that. The blocks. Well, actually when we are using the tools. <laughs> yeah, when we are using the tool. The blocks will get magnetized towards us. But it's not that useful. I just used iron because it's readily available and kind of strong as well. Look at that. We chopped so many trees and our durability still does not suffer. I got shot from somewhere. Oh, this is the guy that shot. How? I showed you my shield. There. Pace of skeletons. <laughs> you don't scare me anymore. Let's try out our new toy, shall we, guys? Ho, 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 ho. Iron hammer. I'm so excited for this. Let's equip the torch because I damn well can't see anything. Look at that. Three by three. <laughs> 
And that reveals more and more ore. More and more ore. And this, yes, uses block durability per block. So yeah, it loses durability just like a pick would. Tinker's Construct is quite balanced in terms of durability and whatnot. Yes, some people might consider the leveling up of tools a little bit overpowered because basically there's no upper limit to leveling up a tool. But every level you get double the XP to level it up. But look at that, 18,000! You gotta destroy 18,000 blocks with this hammer before you get one modifier. So I don't think that's overpowered at all. Because by the time you have... Oh, yeah. Hammers have special attacks too. And that basically wrecks mobs. It attacks as much as a iron sword. So yeah. These have special attacks too. At least I think the hammer does. I know the hammer does. But I don't think the lumber axe has that too. But we'll try that out. We'll try that out. Maybe it does. Tinker's tools always have special attacks. And look at this. This makes strip mining so much easier. Just do this. And then when you are done with this shaft. Oh. Oh, let's try the lumber axe. Oh, a lumber axe has. <laughs> A lumber axe has a special attack as well. Great. Tinker's construct. You never cease to amuse me. And now once you uh, have gotten bored with this shaft, you dig two, three, four, and five blocks in. And you can now start digging here because you can see this row of blocks from this shaft and this row of blocks from this shaft. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go mining, shall we? Lots of lots of iron ore. I need lots of iron ore. I hunger for ore. I'm an ore whore. That's probably sounded pretty bad. <laughs> this this destroys the world pretty handily actually you know guys what would be better there is a mining dimension mining tool and that's from dimensional world 1997 so we'll type in 1997 and there's portrait frames we need the mining multi tool for that we need flint of steel and stuff we already have and chisel stone so yeah, that's a pretty easy portal to make. So let's make that. Let's make that. Let's go destroy the mining world meant for mining instead of this world. And I do think that world is much less hostile. So at least start with, I'd like to go mining in there. Let's make that world. We have a flint and steel lying around. Let's put everything in that we don't need. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And we'll be making a mining multi-tool for that. We need the flint and steel that we barely used. And the mining multi-tool. Eh. Stone bricks and stone and whatnot. Stone pickaxe. A stick. So stone. Uh, I gotta make a stone pickaxe. That's a bummer. I threw away the stone pickaxe I had. Alright. Stone pickaxe. The flint and steel is here. We need stone. I mean, smooth stone. Eh, let's take the whole freaking stack. Oh, we need st stone bricks. How do we produce stone bricks? Like that? Yep. Just need to convert that into stone bricks. Eh, I'm missing a stick. Multi-tool. The didn't make anything that that didn't make sense why does it not make uh what do i need a full flint and steel i do think i do need a full flint and steel then all right flint and iron it should have been called flint and iron all right flint steel flint and steel yeah, I need a full flint and steel. A damaged one will not do. <laughs> All right. And now to create a portal frame that's basically... Ch do I need a chiseled stone? Mm. Can you not do with a normal stone, please? No, 
it needs a chisel stone. Okay. We'll have to make a chisel. And that will be... Chisels, chisel. Ah, a stick and an iron. <laughs> That's easy. A stick and an iron. Alright. Uh, should be chiseled stone. Looks pixely because it doesn't have high res texture like Chroma Hills does. Let's leave it out because really I don't want anything attacking me. I just hate when a creeper drops in the middle of my base. That might or might not have happened off camera that I didn't manage to capture. <laughs> Alright, portal frames. Let's make a portal right in front of the nether portal and we'll go mining in that. Oh god damn it, torch. I hate portals without the corner, so I just go the extra. I just take the extra time to create portals with frames. <laughs> it looks weird without the frames. And whoa! To go through the portal, you have to sneak in it. Yes, my dear friend. I know. Well, let's let's take let's take uh, let's repair this. What is this? Aluminium ingot. Why do I have aluminium ingot in me? Why do I have aluminium ingot in me? How did I get aluminium ingot? Let's smell those. Actually, I'll let them mix to have a little bit. I think iron and lead will mix. And we'll place a new space for aluminium because aluminium doesn't have a home yet. That will be your home, Mr. Aluminium. And I'll repair this tool because I want to be mining for a bit. I know the durability is not completely out, but what's weird about repairing an iron tool is it needs one iron ingot to repair the whole tool, I think. Yeah, it needs one iron to repair the whole tool even from broken, but it needs two iron to make a sharpening kit, so I won't be making iron sharpening kits. Molten silver, molten lead. Oh! They didn't ally, so that was something else that allied with iron last time <laughs> that I'm not aware of and I'll have to find it out when I need it. Mining Dimension! Here we come. That didn't work. Hello? Mining Dimension! Oh, it's waiting for the server. What happened there? Yeah, <laughs> everything's waiting. Yep. I can only look at this portal frame now. It's, yep, <laughs> it's waiting for the server. <laughs> and we are in Aroma 1997's Mining Dimension. Basically a dimension, a flatland dimension with one layer of soil. And then, well, <laughs> everything's not an ore. <laughs> that was coincidentally somehow an ore. But we'll dig it in here, as you guys can see. There's only one layer of sand in here. I uh, will soil in here. One layer of dirt in here. And then all there is is stones with normal origin. There's nothing OP. <laughs> and we'll make stairs like this. I say nothing OP right as I dig into some ores. I don't think this has special origin. I'm just getting lucky here, guys. And another thing that you can do with the hammer is... This coal takes longer to mine than this stone, right? You can mine this stone and it will mine the coal as well. So that's a little... <laughs> a little cheaty-weedy, but <laughs> when you have tools this powerful... You don't care about that, do you? I need to put redstone in this thing once I get a decent amount of redstone. <laughs> Uh, and I need to level this thing up as well. Dun -dun. Stairs to hallway. Ooh, guys, charge Certus Quartz Ore. That's what I was looking for. I need one more <laughs> after that one. That's that's one charge of Certus Quartz Ore, right? Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, one charge Certus Quartz Ore. <laughs> I need. One more, one more, please. 
Why did I bring the mining tool? Why did I bring the chisel? Why did I bring the flint and steel and whatnot? That's waste of space. And I won't be bothering with the coal. We have a lot of coal. If we ever need coal, we'll just come back here. Damn it! I barely started. <laughs> well, it's been quite a few minutes since I started. And it has broken. <laughs> Ooh, is that charged? No, it's normal. God damn it. Certus quartz or certus quartz or charged certus quartz is quite rare. Oh, a mine shaft. That's poor silver. No. Poor silver creates nuggets instead of ingots, and that's bad <laughs> for our smelter system because it gets clogged. I'll have to make a nugget cast for that. Reasonably priced. <laughs> Does that mean? Zinc or Ooh, pickaxe level iron. Ah, it's broken. Because I, I thought it's cobalt. Do, 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 do. Ooh, an emerald. D two emeralds. Wow, this mine shaft is nice. What you gonna have for me in the box? Squid beak. That's gonna give us some squid ink sacks. Yep. Squid beak. Uh, a coal. An ender IO capacitor. Oh, that's gonna be so useful. And var gear. Another ender IO capacitor. Amazing Technicolor glasses. I don't know what that is from. That's from Open Blocks. We're, we're gonna look cool in it. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we look so funky in that. Uh, I see two. Tinning it. Ironing it. Some dust. We'll keep the railings here because we're gonna come back here later. Our inventory is getting quite full. I just want one stack of iron ore <laughs> and that will convert into two stacks. <laughs> We're officially stuffed guys. Let's find our way back because that's going to be a nightmare. Or maybe I'll just dig upwards <laughs> until I find my way out. Oh god. Certain squares dust, pretty important. Tracks? Nah, I don't think I need tracks. Oh god, I will have to- oh god, no. I'll have to go around the gravel because I don't have a shovel type. I noticed that Matic doesn't act as a shovel. It just acts as a tool for wood, dirt, and whatnot. Basically a farming tool. So we'll have to make a shovel as well. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to make an excavator because I don't need 3x3 three three shoveling. Because you don't really do all that much shoveling. But who knows? Once I get rich on ores, I might make an excavator. Yep, crickets are getting louder. The sec uh, second type of crickets chirping, and there's the dirt. Nice. Let's get back home, shall we, guys? Where is the portal? Should be towards zero by... Oh, where's the portal? Oh, my word. No. <laughs> oh, it's that way, isn't it? Yeah, that's the portal. Jesus. I have to way map the portal. Almost lost the portal. The damn important portal. <laughs> I'll do that in yellow, because why not? And back to the overworld. Let's sort our stuff out. We have quite the bit of ore, don't you think, guys? Yep. Shocking. That is shocking. <laughs> I got one charged C to squirt sore. Quite shocking, isn't it? <laughs> God damn achievements. Let's see how much iron we have. One stack. One and a half stack of iron. Nice. And with that, gold can go there. And that'll smelt it out. And what we don't have sorting for is limestone. Ouch. And I don't think I need sorting for stone bricks because that's a man-made brick. Let's make three hoppers, three, and we'll need two more. And in here we'll need three more. 
So five. Oh god, we need more iron. That's all the iron we had. But more iron is in the making. There we go. <laughs> now we have tons of iron. And we don't even need to convert it. It'll just put it in there, convert it out, make your hopper. There. All the hopper we'll ever need. Well, <laughs> might need more hopper, but yeah, you get the point. <laughs> And as you guys can see, the stone mattock, we don't use the mattock all that much, so it has been repairing itself. A chicken. What are you doing here? <laughs> Brilliant chicken. <laughs> go in there, I'll shove you in here, and you'll go nowhere, and you'll be my friend, Mr. Chicky Chicken. I'll name you Flappy. <laughs> so now Flappy is our pet, even though we haven't fed him anything. <laughs> Even from that tiny hole below the casting basin, you can take that out. That is quite handy. And that is quite a handy block there, because I can just do that then. That. There. Another hopper, another hopper. Another hopper. And last but not the least, another hop. What happened to you? What happened to you, Flappy? Did you get... How did you get damaged, Flappy? What the shit? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Flappy is an idiot. We'll be adding the hopper stairs. So now anything that these casting basins or casting tables produce We'll all go into the chest and we'll later hook that chest to our AE2 system and that will be fun and dandy, you stupid little chicken. How did you manage to damage yourself and you don't get... No. Flappy, come on. Don't do that to me. Know what, Flappy? I'll make a golden lasso for you and keep, it, keep you in the lasso forever. <laughs> lasso. What does the lasso cost? It costs four threads that we might have we don't have cost for gold nuggets, so pretty cheap, but it needs 8 XP level, we have 28. So we'll make that. We want Flappy to be in our place. Is the cotton plant we planted on episode 3 still there? It is. <laughs> it is. We'll need to grow cotton as well, because thread another important stuff in this mod pack. Rice, you'll have to go. Cotton, you'll have to grow in the place of rice. I don't need so many. <gasps> what did I throw? I threw them in my bag. <laughs> and we'll let this cotton grow. We'll make the golden lasso later. Because I just looked at the watch. And I've been playing for two and a half goddamn hours. So, yeah. That's, that's pretty getting close to the time. Getting close to the time we have for this episode. Iron ingots. We don't have iron ingots. Well, why don't we have iron ingots? I don't think we use. We did use all the iron. What is this sorcery? Oh, there's plenty of iron ingots there. Oh, look at that. That just that number just went up, and I like that. <laughs> right now, let's see if. Oh, one iron ingot almost repairs it. So, yeah. <laughs> Sh sharpening kit, it's still not worth it. For the repair, at least. How many blocks do we have left? Four blocks and eight ingots. Take out the four blocks, please. That'll pour in and automatically get in the chest. Isn't that nice? It looks so cool when it pours red. Kind of looks like it's pouring blood. We already have hostiles. No. They're pretty close to us. Let us not provoke them. Let us, let us bring the sun to smite them. <laughs> and I'll wait for you to... Jesus Christ. I said I'll wait for you to burn, but apparently not. That's a lot of tin ore. Let's 
Oh, two Norsemen's fast as well. Okay, ten, eight blocks. Ooh, that's white as milk. Why is tin white as milk? Yeah, that looks gross. It's it's white, like milk, but there's still some weirdness to it. Yeah, and the iridium is still not smelted. There's three block of tin still, three block of milk. What's happening with this? Oh, there's some zinc in there that I accidentally poured in. God damn it. Right, stop, 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 stop. Uh, zinc. What's there? There's tin, then there's iridium. That's a clog of zinc. This is why I didn't want to pick up poor zinc and whatnot. Let's let's just reset that. I don't want that. Oh, <laughs> it went in. There. Hooray! So much blocks, so much ore, so much goodness. <laughs> Ooh, that's, a, that's truly a lot. Thank you, Trinker Smeltery. And with that, we have tons of metal. Tons, tons of metal. What metal? Block of silver doesn't have a home yet. Now you do. What else doesn't have a home yet? Lead doesn't have a home yet. Now you do. What doesn't have a home still yet? Zinc and iridium don't have a home yet. That would be zinc. That would be iridium. And with that, thank you so, so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. If it did, hit that like button it lets me know that you guys want more of these episodes and it gets me motivated to create the next episode and subscribe to the channel if you're new wow that scared me that sure did scared me <laughs> oh my word <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you're new to get rid of these skeletons and i'll be seeing you guys in the next one and until then, mind safe. I want to jump. I don't have enough food left.